thank you all. And I, I just thank my colleagues for taking this stand. Uh, look, I want to speak to you not just as a member of Congress, but as a former Army Ranger that enlisted in the Army after high school, had the chance to go to West Point to return in the infantry and serve in great units. Uh, I am absolutely for a strong United States military. Our president, our commander in chief, is absolutely for a very strong military and has done uh, things decisively to make our military stronger. But the reality is endless wars have made our country less free, less safe, and more burdened by debt. It's long overdue for Congress to debate the, the wars that we're in. And when the president actually wants to act, as presidents have for a long time now, unilaterally, and say we're going we're gonna to shrink our presence in Afghanistan, to say we are going to push for accountability in NATO, and we are going to reposition uh, troops out of countries that aren't doing the right thing, like Germany, and into countries that are, like Poland, uh, we've got the established status quo people uh, fighting our president. It's his own resistance movement. Many of them are Democrats, but unfortunately some of them are defense hawks within our own party. The president's been very clear about uh, threatening to veto it, and it's a good thing. This bill should not receive a yes vote, and I'm proud to stand here with people who plan to oppose it. And here's the thing. The sick thing is the people that are putting this bill on the floor, the people who lead the House Armed Services Committee, are leveraging the livelihoods of our men and women in uniform. The aviators, the doctors, the people in combat zones, hazardous duty pay, and they're saying, if you don't vote for this, the troops aren't going to get their money. It's so dishonorable. It's essentially holding people hostage. We're, we use these people to, to defeat our terrorists, and we're essentially using terror tactics uh, to harm them. And it's the equivalent of a school uh, who wants to pass a levy saying, you know, if, if you don't vote for this, we're going to have to cancel sports and band and busing. But they don't ever get at the core issue. The, they don't propose to cut off funding from defense contractors. They don't propose to cut off funding from endless wars. They don't propose to shrink the number of general officer billets or shrink the funding for core and, uh, you know, layers and echelons above echelons. They go after the young men and women who are out there on the front lines at deployment after deployment and threaten them and their pay and their increases. It's shameful, and we should all be united in saying these tactics in this body must end. And, and they're represented in this horrible bill. So we're right to vote no, and the president's right to veto it. And our, our colleagues would be right to uh, sustain his veto.